Hi everyone, this is Amit Kumar Solangi, working as a solution specialist at Concept Check Connect. Today we are going to see the collaboration between two users. First one having solid work with 3D experience platform and the second one having solid work without 3D experience platform. This can be done using 3D experience exchange add-in. Let's deep dive into it. So start with, please make sure that all the data should be saved in the platform. Then you can go to the tools tab. Here we are having one option, export as package. So once you click on that particular icon, what will happen? All this data set will be exported as a package. Here you just need to define, like you can see all the uh, items will be there, all the parts will be there. Here you can define what are the component or the assembly or sub assembly you can define like for read only or the edit only so you can define your desired part or the sub assembly like to edit and where you are going to save it you just need to define its location and create a folder and save it there once it is done you just need to click on export so what will happen the total data set will be exported as a package on the other hand, you can see this is the user having the only desktop solid work. Here you can import that particular package, browse the desired package file and once you open it, select it and hit the open icon. Once it is done, you just need to define that particular package name. So you can rename that particular package name and hit the import button. Once you import, you will get all those data set, whatever it is exported by the user which is having the 3D experience platform. You just need to drag and drop that particular data set to your desktop uh, solid work interface. Within fraction of second, it will load and it will give you that particular data. Now you can examine it. So or what else the desired modification you want to do, you can go for it. So suppose for the time being, I'm just going to make some changes in terms of the fillet so this particular age value i am going to define this fillet so just need to define it i can define my desired fillet value and hit the ok icon so what will happen you can see that fillet value is added i go back to my particular assembly save as so that you can save it as a local copy of this particular data set or else you can export that particular thing in the platform as well and once you define it, you just need to again save it button. Once it is done, you can rebuild this particular assembly. You will go back to your final assembly only. Now here is the changes. You can see the changes is already covered. That means you go back to your 3D experience data and here you can see that the flashlight is modified now. You just need to refresh it. So that you can clearly see that all the parts and assemblies are there and from the package itself. So here what you do, you imported your desired package file, you do some modification and you are updating it and send it back. Here you can see it is also showing that it is modified. That means that particular sub assembly is now modified. So once it is modified, you can send it back to the particular user who sent to you. So that once you go back and while clicking on the export button, you can clearly see that this particular icon, this particular sub assembly is now modified. So once you click the export button, again you, it will ask you to rename your folder. So you can say rename it and hit the open button. I believe all of you find this video very much useful. For more information about this feature, please connect to our technical support team. Thank you.